We're gonna share with you a lot of the history of the Arizona Academy of the Performing Arts today and uh, bring you back to the stories of the last 20 years of the organization. And we thought it would be a great idea to bring you to where it all started here at Corona del Sol High School, um, where we launched this organization 20 years ago. There was a small group of us. Um, some of us had marched drum corps in the past and uh, others had not. Um, those of us who had, hadn't got enough of the activity, I guess, and looked around at, at, at where drum corps were coming from and looked at our huge municipality here in the Phoenix area and thought, you know, why can't we have a drum corps here for the students of Arizona? So several of the instructors, including myself, who were teaching here at the time, and uh, some of the boosters that were in heavily involved with the booster program at Corona sat down literally around a kitchen table and talked how we could bring a drum corps to Arizona. And that's exactly what we did. We sat down in, in the year 2000 and started to put together plans and incorporated in 2001. The first thing that we did was uh, bring the activity back to Arizona for the first time, and I think it was seven years had been absent of seeing drum corps here within uh, the borders of Arizona. So we brought a drum corps show to Arizona, the Southwest Corps Connection. And we were fortunate to have four high school partners uh, uh, do that with us. We had Corona, of course, we had Mesquite High School, Gilbert High School, and Desert Vista High School. Those booster organizations all teamed together and pulled the resources together with their volunteers and their investment um, to launch the very first drum corps show of the Academy, the Southwest Corps Connection. And while the drum corps show was our first fundraising effort and first opportunity to raise awareness about the drum corps activity, um, which had been an absence for so long here in Arizona. It was also the first opportunity for us to gather the students, to get students excited about the activity, to start training them and preparing them for what was to become a drum and bugle corps. So we rounded up some of the most outstanding staff here in Arizona, uh, recruited students and launched two programs uh, in that first year in 2001, the Summer Youth Guard and the Summer Brass and Percussion Ensemble. Both of these groups performed solely in exhibition at the Southwest Corps Connection that first year. And in fact, over the next three years, we remained as a brass percussion ensemble and a youth guard program, ever developing and growing um, and raising the resources, uh, securing funding by generous donors for instruments, an individual donor campaign that we called Be Instrumental, uh, that secured brass instruments for the organization in the third year of our existence. Parents of the organization started to raise money through a Memorial Day concert for which we still perform at today and raised money for our first set of concert percussion equipment for the eventual Drum and Bugle Corps. 